effective anti-flash helmets and gloves. You remember about wardroom attendants having other jobs. Maybe you noticed this chap serving there. Now he's at the elevation and depression control. All guns are directed from a central position high up on the mast, known as gunnery control. But in case of need, each turret is self-contained. This is the local control rangefinder at work. When under local control, the officer of the quarters gives directions to the guns, viewing the target through a periscope. Now the guns are being loaded. See the breeches rising in the lower half of the picture. Ammunition is sent up from the magazine by a lift, known as the cage. There's one coming up in the foreground. After the shell and charges are pushed home, the cage goes down and the gun is elevated to its firing position. Let's watch that. ...controlled by the man with the lever. The bridge rises and opens. Over goes another lever. Up comes the cage and stops in the first position. Another lever. A rammer drives a shell through the top chamber of the cage into the bridge. The cage comes up a little further. The rammer passes through the second chamber and drives home a charge of cordite. The cage moves up again and a second charge is driven in. A pull on the lever and the cage goes down. The bridge closes and is lowered, thus elevating the muzzle ready for firing. 